everyone, I am Vicki Guerrero and I am a business owner in Portland, Oregon. I have a company called Hot Mama Salsa. We make lots of uh, spicy condiments, hot sauce and salsa and Mexican chili oil and the best corn tortilla chips in town. And I also really love to cook at home and I'm a big vegetable fan. So I'm gonna cook some vegetables today, focusing on zucchini, which if you grow vegetables in Portland or you get a CSA in Portland or you go to the farmer's market, you're gonna see tons and tons of zucchini, tons and tons of zucchini in your boxes. And so what do you do with all of it? Because you can only make so much zucchini bread, right? Um, I like to slice them and grill them and put tomatoes and cheese on top. That's a good way You can stuff them. Um, I just saute them with my eggs. But I'm gonna show you today kind of a different recipe called zucchini butter that I learned from um, Catherine Doinling's website called Cook With What You Have, which I was lucky enough many years ago to happen to win a subscription to through Instagram and an amazing website for me because she talks so much about techniques and how to use these different techniques with one ingredient that then all apply to another ingredient. So if you have a chance to check this website out, it's phenomenal, cook with what you have. And so this uh, recipe is inspired by that website, it's called Zucchini Butter. And it's basically, we're just gonna melt the zucchini down in a pan. So we're gonna use zucchini, these are from my garden. Um, we're gonna use a shallot, you can use onion too, and some garlic. We're gonna use lemon, and I brought some herbs from my garden. Also, you can use any kind of herbs you like, and sea salt and olive oil. So this is a very simple recipe. So we're gonna start out by just chopping a shallot and the garlic, and we're gonna start sauteing that. You can use white onion for this, yellow onion, and I have the pan heating up on medium. So just finely dice your shallot. And I'm gonna actually mix the garlic right in with the shallot and cook them together. Sometimes if, if because the shallot's so fine, I'm gonna do that, but if I was using like half a white onion, I would do the onion first because that's a little thicker, takes a little more time to cook. So garlic, it's still got the peel on, so I'm just gonna smash it with my the back of my hand on my knife, and then the peel will slide right off. And then curl your fingers so you don't chop them. And then this is gonna cook down low and slow when the zucchini gets in there, so everything is gonna melt, but the finer you chop it, the easier that will happen. Okay, so I'm gonna put a little olive oil in my pan, which is nice and warm now. Okay, now that that's sizzling enough, I know I need to turn it down a lot. You don't really wanna brown it, you just wanna soften it. All right, so stir it around. If it's starting to brown, I'm taking it off because I don't really want it to brown. Okay, so I've got my oven turned down a little bit, so now this is just gonna lightly cook. And I'm gonna take one of my zucchinis, just cut the bottom off. I've already rinsed these. So use a grater and start with the big end of the zucchini and just the larger um, holes on your great box grater. Just go ahead and grate those. Okay, I did get my garlic and shallots a little bit toastier than I wanted to, but that's okay, because the zucchini is gonna add some water. Okay, so throw that zucchini in a pan. And I wanted the water in there because my garlic and shallots were getting a little toasty, but if they're just nice and uh, slow cooking, you can squeeze some of that water out, but it will cook out. Okay, so I think I'm just gonna do one zucchini for this recipe because it's quite a lot. Can you see how much that is in there? I'm just gonna kind of melt the zucchini in the pan here. So it's kind of a slow cook, so watch your heat and adjust as you need to. It's 
once the water cooks out. And then once the zucchini melts, we're gonna add herbs and lemon and salt. So I had in my garden, I have, I love growing this Japanese herb called shiso. So I have shiso, I have some lovage, and I have some basil. So we're gonna use all of those. So I start with the shiso because that has the biggest leaves and I'll just pick off a couple of those leaves and place them down. And then I'll pick off some lovage leaves. And if you get herbs in your CSA box, really any of, of these kind of, these are called you know soft herbs that you can just chop up and drizzle them over any kind of dish. You can mix and match. So if you get you know mint and basil in your CSA, you can use any of those herbs, parsley, so now I'm picking off the basil leaves. Oh, but lovage, I wanted to say, is great just torn up into salads. Okay, so we're gonna cut our herbs while the zucchini is melting down, and it's really starting to get really um, soft and mushy, which is what you want. So I've got my shiso on the bottom there, right? So I try and stuff all my basil in there and roll it up like a little cigar roll. And then I'm gonna just run my knife through the herbs. This is what they call a chiffonade, right? So you get these ribbons of herbs. And then if you go the other way, dice them right up, which is what we're gonna do for this dish. Okay, so the water now is really cooked off and the zucchini, once it starts sticking to the pan, you can see it's like starting to stick to the pan there. That tells you you need a little bit more liquid, right? So now it's time to put in our lemon. So squeeze that around. Okay, so now it's kind of bubbling up again because it's got some liquid in there. I'm gonna now add some salts. Good pinch of salts. And you're basically gonna cook this through until your lemon juice is cooked out and it's coming together. And it's nice and mushy. So what do you do with this nice mushy zucchini butter <laughs> now that you have made this pile? Um, it's great to use as a spread on sandwiches. You can make a really beautiful veggie sandwich with some sliced tomatoes and maybe some mozzarella. Um, you can have it just as a dip with some crackers or with some other veggies. Um, I like to kind of put it into my pasta. I haven't done this, but I was thinking this would be a really good layer for lasagna if you were doing a veggie lasagna. You would have to make a lot more for that. Okay, so time for the herbs. That's a lot of herbs for that little bit amount of zucchini, but I really love fresh herbs. Okay, and it looks like it's really come together. So I'm gonna taste it. Hmm. So this doesn't taste like zucchini at all. It tastes like your herbs and lemon and the garlic. It's really delicious. So for people who say they don't like zucchini, like my family, this is a good way to get it in there. Zucchini butter, 